Hello and welcome to the tutorial on odd and even numbers. In this tutorial we're going to do numbers up to 1000. And like in some of the previous tutorials we're going to begin with the number line. And the reason why we're doing the number line again is to make sure that we fully understand it and something that you can do yourself if you happen to forget the odd and even numbers. So there is our number line. From 0 to 9. And now what we're going to do is the same thing as we did before. We're going to populate the number line and designate which numbers are odd and which numbers are even. We're going to start right at the beginning at number 0. 0 is an even number. Yep. And counting in twos, all of these are even numbers. So number 2 is even, number 4 is even, number 6 is even, 8 is even, 8 is even. Right, we've done that. And now, all the other numbers are odd. So we start at number 1, that is an odd number. Counting in twos, what comes after one? It's three. That is an odd number. Five is an odd number. Seven is an odd number. And lastly, nine is an odd number. So you've seen this number line before and how we work through this. And as before, we're just going to jot down here all the even numbers. Now when you get more accustomed to doing this, you won't need to do the number line. You can just write the numbers down in the columns. Start at 2, sorry, start at 0, then it's 2, 4, 6, and 8. So those are all the even numbers. Now let's write down the odd numbers. We start at 1, counting in 2s, we've got 3, 5, 7, 9. Now I did that all of that quite quickly because we have done this before time and time again. So let's have a look at our first example. Suppose we have this number 463. Now 463. Now is this an odd number or an even number? Remember all we're focused on is the last digit over here, the 3. That's the units. We're not too worried about what the first two are. Those can be any digits. So 3, is that an even number or an odd number? Look at the columns on the left. Here's 3. It is an odd number. So if 3 is an odd number, then the whole number, 463, is an odd number. Now we'll look at the next one. Suppose we have this number, 826. 826. Now again, we're going to look at the digit on the right-hand side, the units. We don't care whether the first two digits are 8 or 2 or any, and they can be any number. So what is 6? Is 6 an odd number or an even number? Look at the columns on the left. 6 is an even number. Therefore, the whole number, 826, is even. Right, let's look at the next one. 637. So this time round we got 637. What do you think that number is? Odd or even? Again, we're focusing on the last digit, the 7. We're not worried about the 6 and the 3. All we're concentrating on is the 7. Now let's have a look at the columns on the left, the even and odd. Where is 7? 7 is over here. It's an odd number. So if 7 is odd, then the whole number, 637, is an odd number. Nice and It's nice and clear cut, isn't it? So let's look at a few more, and this time I want you to do them. Suppose this time round you have number 348. 348. Right, I want you to work this out. I'll give you a moment. 
So is it odd or even? Well, let's work through it. We're going to look at the digit on the right hand side, the units, the 3, 4, we're not too worried about what they are. The 8, is 8 odd or even? Here is 8. 8 is an even number. If 8 is an even number, then the whole number, 348, is even. Now how about the next one? 985. Now what do you think about 985? Do you think that's odd or even? Have you made a choice? Great, let's work through it. We are looking at the digit on the right hand side. That's the units, the 5. We don't care about the 9 and the 8. So what is 5? Is 5 an odd number or an even number? Here it is on our chart. 5 is an odd number. So if 5 is an odd number, then the whole number, 985, is odd. And lastly, have a look at this one. We've got 702. Now is that an odd number or an even number? Have you made a choice? It's nice and easy. Great. We're focusing on the 2 over here. Have a look at the left. Where does the 2 appear? It appears over here. 2 is an even number. And if 2 is an even number, then the whole number, 702, is even. It really is as simple as that.